Admit it, it's always better in a cone. It's always better in a cone. Putting ice cream in a dish? Eating it with a spoon? Where are you from, these people? Hold the wheel. What? I'm dripping here. Hold the wheel. I can't hold the wheel. You're driving. The person who's driving has to hold the wheel. That's the first thing they teach you in driver's ed. Huh. I got to take that class one of these days. Take the wheel. Jess. I'm letting go. Stop. Take it back. OK, you are taking this wheel back. And when you do, I'm going to kill you. I'm just letting you know that. I appreciate the warning. Jess. OK, I got it. Jeez, you look pale. You OK? Death, and it's going to be painful. You're not going to kill me. Think how dull your life would be without me. Serious question. OK. You know you're smarter than most everybody at your school. It takes you like five minutes to finish a book. You read everything, you remember everything. You could ace those classes easily. Why don't you? You don't need a tutor. It's crazy that they're talking about leaving you back. Whatever. You could do anything you wanted. You could be anything you wanted. Rory. And is it like a cool thing? I could care less about being cool. Well, inform me, please. I'm never going to college. Why waste the time in high school? And why aren't you going to college? Please. What? Please what? Why is that so crazy? Ask my mother. She could give you a couple reasons. Oh, and I'm sure Principal Merton could chime in with a few good ones. In fact, ask your mother. She doesn't know me all that well, but I'm sure she could improvise a few things. Do not give me that whole I'm so misunderstood Kurt Cobain thing. You are way stronger than that, and I don't even want to hear it. You have to go to college. No, you have to go to college. But don't you have any plans? Yes. I plan to get out of Stars Hollow. And go where? Wherever. And do what? Whatever. Wherever. Whatever. I'll live where I live, I'll work when I need money, and I'll see where I end up. You could do more. <laughs> oh, here come the pom-poms. No, no pom-poms. Just me saying you could do more. So, Courtney, what about you? <laughs> what about me? What are your big ambitions? Harvard. And after Harvard? I'm going to be a journalist. All is on? Christiana Amapur. You're going to be an overseas correspondent? Yes, I am. You're going to crawl around in trenches and stand on top of buildings and have bombs going off in the background and civil wars raging all around you. What, you don't think I can do it? No, I do. It just sounds a little too... A little what? just sounds a little too rough for you. Well, it's not a little too rough for me. I hope it's not a little too rough for me. I've been talking about this forever. I mean, I don't even know what I would do. Hey, I didn't mean to freak you out. I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll do it. You will. I promise. I'll help you practice, OK? Tomorrow, you'll stand in the middle of the street, and I will drive straight at you, screaming in a foreign language. Well, you're going to have to learn a foreign language first. Well, it's lucky I've got me a tutor, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so I guess we should be getting back. I did promise to study if you wanted this ice cream run with me. Yes, you did. Okay, so I just go straight and we'll be back at Luke's. Good sense of direction. Of course, I could turn right and then we'd just be driving around in circles for a while. Turn right. As you wish. Hello. Mom. Oh, Rory, great. Tell me, was it the China ball, the China doll, or the China wall that had the really good shrimp balls? I think it was the China doll. OK, these can go. You'll be so proud of me. I'm organizing the takeout drawer. I'm weeding out all the dogs, and I'm putting happy face stickers on the dishes that have been huge successes to make our ordering more efficient. Where are you? I need you to be calm. Calm about what? Calm about what I have to tell you. What? Where are you? I'm all right. Well, of course you're all right. Why wouldn't you be all right? Because. I got in an accident. What? What accident? What do you mean you got in an accident? Jess and I went for ice cream, and we were just driving, and it was dark, and this dog or cat or possum, I don't know, it was small and furry, and it ran out into the middle of the road, and Jess swerved, and... Jess swerved? Yes. Jess was driving? Yes. Jess was driving your car, and you got in an accident? But I'm fine, and he's fine, and the furry thing is fine. The car's a little messed up, but there's nothing for you to be worried about. Where are you? I'm in the hospital.